Have you ever done a science experiment and wondered what it'd be like if you did it big? I have. <laughs> Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. Science Max! Taking something flimsy and making something strong. Whoa, pasta bridge! We build things out of pasta, sand, and paper to show how you can use science to make something strong out of something weak. Dry sand, wet sand, Science sand. It's all how you build it. <laughs> Today on Science Max, experiments at large. Oh, hi, Science Maximites. Have you ever been eating pasta and wondered, what could I build with this? Could I build something that could hold an impressive amount of weight? Well, I have. And that's what we're gonna do today on Science Max Experiments at Large. But we're not gonna use cooked pasta because it's too delicious. We're gonna use uncooked pasta. Which is less delicious, but it's great for building. We're gonna make a pasta bridge. Here's how you do it. First, you wanna start with a plan. And then you wanna take your pasta, I'm saying pasta, but of course spaghetti is usually the best thing to use, and lay it out on your plan the reason you have a plan is so that you can make sure all of the spaghetti is exactly the right length. Lay it out on your plan, perfectly aligned like that. There, and now it's time to glue it all together. Now you can use white glue, but it takes a long time. So I suggest a hot glue gun, but make sure you get an adult's permission before you use one of these, okay? So you take your plan, you lay it out, you glue it up. Don't glue it on the paper because that will be bad and you will end up with your truss. And it looks just like this. Now remember, you want two sides because those are the sides of your bridge. And as you can see, I've used several strands of pasta because that'll make it a little bit stronger. Once you have your trusses, it's time for the next part of the plan. This is the roadway, and it works the same way. Lay out your pasta, glue it up, and bam, there it is. Now, you put your trusses on your roadway, and you glue them all together, and you also want to put some struts along the top here, probably, to keep it nice and rigid. In the end, you will end up with a fantastic-looking pasta bridge. Pretty good, huh? No pasta bridge. No other bridge could claim to be 100% pasta, minus the glue. 99.8% pasta, 0.2% glue. I say that, Captain. Set sail. Let's sail for the land of pasta bridges. Now, if that was pretty fast for you, don't worry, all the instructions are gonna be on our website. Now, a bridge isn't a bridge unless it spans a gap, because that's what bridges are for. So you put your pasta bridge up there, across the books like that, and then you can see just how much weight the bridge holds. It's pretty impressive, if you build it right, even something as flimsy and as delicate as pasta can hold quite a bit of weight. I like to use big, heavy blocks and put them in the middle where there is no support from the books whatsoever and just keep adding heavy things and see how much weight the bridge will hold before it breaks. How much will it hold? Well, I'm not gonna tell you. That's where you get to be Science Maximites and find out for yourselves. And now, we're gonna max it out. Today on, oh, my pasta. Today on Science Max Experiments at Large, we're gonna be looking at how fragile things can become strong if you build them right. Um, we're also gonna be maxing out the pasta bridge experiment to see if we can make one that's strong enough to hold me. You think we can do it? I know I have no idea, but I'm going to the Center for Skills Development and Training to find out. Oh, hey, Kyle. Phil. How you doing? Great, thanks. Awesome. This is Kyle. He's got a master's in civil engineering. Uh, did you want some pasta? I'm good. I can go back and get some more. Really, I'm good. OK. So what does a civil engineer do? Well, a civil engineer builds the world around us. Talk about our homes, keeping us warm in the winter, our roads, hey, even our bridges. Bridges, that's fantastic, because that's what I need your help with. 
I want to max out the pasta bridge. Awesome. I want to make one big enough that I can walk across it. Okay, that's never been done before. I know, right? You think we can do it? We're going to need a lot of help to do that. No, we don't need help. All we need is a lot of pasta, which I have. <laughs> nice. What do you say? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, we'll give it a shot. I'll do it. Why don't we just take some to start and then... In order to max out our pasta bridge, the idea is to take many, many strands of pasta and just keep gluing them together so the long beams of pasta in our giant bridge is nothing but many, many regular-sized strands of pasta. Here's where we were after 20 minutes of gluing. There, that's nice. Yeah, I, I, I think this piece is done. Okay, so how does it work? Is it, is it strong? Whoa. Well, let's give it a go, eh? Yeah, I think this will hold. Great! So we just need to build a few more of these then, right? Yeah, that's right. How many more? 212 more. 212 of these. More. 212, that's... But it took us like 20 minutes to make this one. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess so. I mean, this is Science Max Experiments at Large. That's what we do. We just keep building and building, and, you know, I don't have any plans for the next while, so we can... Uh, Phil. Yep. I think that there's a better way of doing this. I would be delighted to know there's a better way. It'd be faster than this. Much faster. Sure, let's do it. Awesome. I'm just gonna put the pasta back in the bag because it, 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 it'll Phil, get you, stale. You don't have to do that. No, no, but it'll get stale. Phil, okay. I'm gonna call in one of my friends. We're probably gonna need some more help with this. Oh man, that's a great idea. Sorry, that's a great idea. Cause it's, it's, it, there's, yeah. good, cause at least we could get your friend to help clean up. Better sandcastles in 80 seconds. Building sandcastles is fun, but you can't use dry sand because it doesn't stay up very well. You have to use wet sand. But even if you use wet sand, it doesn't hold a lot of weight. But if you use sand with the power of science, it does hold the weight. Dry sand, wet sand, science sand. Here's what's going on. Say these ping pong balls are grains of sand. When they're dry, they don't hold together very well. That's why you can't build a sandcastle out of dry sand. But if you get the sand wet a little bit, the grains of sand will hold together a little better because of the surface tension of the water. That's why it's easier to build a sandcastle with wet sand. But they still won't hold much weight. But if you add something that creates even more friction between the grains of sand, like say, this sandpaper, it will hold the weight. So here's what you do. Take window screen and cut it into circles. Make sure you get an adult's permission first, okay? Deal? Put in a layer of sand, pack it down, and put in a circle of window screen. And a layer of sand, pack it down, circle of window screen. Then, you guessed it, layer of sand, pack it down, circle of window screen. The window screens are gonna add more friction between the grains of sand and will make your sand castle strong. Strong with the power of science. And then, you can put lots of weight on it. And there you go, sand with the power of science. <laughs> okay, I had to max it out. Let's see how strong science sand really is. Huh? <laughs> science! Our pasta bridge was going to take a long time to build out of individual pieces. So, we have a new plan. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Phil. How you doing? I'm great, how are you? Good, this is Michaela. And she's an undergrad in industrial engineering, right? I am. And you and Kyle have a new plan for how we can build our pasta bridge that's not gonna look oh, like this. Oh, man. This is the best that Kyle and I could do with 20 minutes. Okay, well, I have better. Good, I'm glad. How are we gonna do it? So, instead of that, we're gonna try something like this. Oh, okay. This is sort of like a giant burrito kind of thing, right? Yep but we're going to build the bridge out of this. Exactly. Uh, we're gonna make it longer, though? Yep, we're gonna make it eight feet long. We have this long pole, right? Yep. And we have sheets of this pasta. 
We're going to put them on the diagonal. OK. And we're going to roll it. But mm -hmm. we're going to start from this corner, and we're going to keep rolling. And don't All forget right. to add water. And we got to add water. I'll add the water. OK. Adding water, just yeah. like this. Yep. It helps the pasta to stick together. So as we're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. We're going to keep doing this with a bunch more sheets so that it gets really, really long, like eight feet long. And when we're finally done rolling, we got to spray it with some varnish. Yep. And so it all holds together. Great. And then it's going to be about this thing. Yeah. When we're finished with it. Exactly. Yep. This is going to be one of the parts of the deck of our bridge. Great. So each one of these large pieces is going to be like one single strand of pasta in the little bridge. Room. Yeah. We need a lot of these. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Still, it's a lot faster than doing it piece by piece with just the oh. spaghetti. Every time I hold it up, you make that noise. Oh. 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 <laughs> awesome. The shape of something makes a big difference in how strong it is. Get some toilet paper rolls and put them in a square, and then stack books on top of them. They can hold, wait. Thing is, they can actually hold a lot more weight than you probably think. In fact, the amount of weight just paper in a tube can hold is really kind of impressive. Ha <laughs> And now, let's max it out. Wait on two toilet paper rolls. Yeah. Mm. Nope. Bill's weight on four toilet paper rolls. Nope. Bill's weight on six toilet paper rolls. Nope. Bill's weight on 10 toilet paper rolls. Oh. Ha! Ha ha! Bill's weight can be supported by 10 toilet paper rolls. But what if Phil jumps? <laughs> Didn't really work. So, Kyle and Michaela's plan is to use a long pole and sheets of uncooked pasta. We roll the pasta around the pole and spray it with a little varnish. We roll sheets and sheets of pasta along an eight foot long pole, making many layers of pasta then we wait for it to dry and remove the pole. What we have is an eight foot long hollow tube of pasta that becomes a single piece of the bridge. Then we attach a bunch of these pieces together and use more sheets of pasta to glue them into the shape we used for our small pasta bridge. We're making our giant pasta bridge by wrapping sheets of pasta around and around the poles using the technique we just had, <sighs> making a whole large pole out of many, many, many sheets of pasta rolled around each other. And we've made a giant truss. Look at this, this is great, guys. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, if I hit it, you think it'd stay together? No, hey! stop. What? This is pasta, not steel. It's only made to just hold you. Kyle, what do you think are the chances that this is going to hold me when we build it? Something like 50-50. Not bad. Michaela, what do you think? I'm going to hold for the best. Hoping for the best. That's exactly the kind of gray area we like to work in at Science Max Experiments at Large. Experiments at Large, I don't know if anybody's even ever done this before. Not to my knowledge. Which I is, don't think so. Which is why we have no idea if it's going to work. OK, so uh, one more of these, because these are the sides. Yep. Uh, roadway, and then the top. 
Yep. Yep. All right, let's do it. While we're waiting, it's a good moment to point out one of the things that makes our bridge really strong. That is, triangles. As you can see, the truss, or the side of our bridge, is really just three big triangles. Triangles are very strong shapes to build with, and they work great in bridges. Now it's time for science so simple, a caveman could do it. This is a caveman. Huh? Today we are going to teach this caveman how to build a strong structure. Ah! Hey, hey. Here are some boxes. Huh? Huh? Go on and build a shelter, and I'll come back and see how it worked out. <laughs> no, 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 that's not right. Ah. You need to build walls by stacking boxes on top of each other. That's how you build. Understand? Oh, yeah. I'll come back later and see how it worked out. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, does that look right to you? Yeah. Look at those boxes. They're stacked on top of each other. Yeah. But if they are in tall stacks, what would happen if you push on the wall? Oh. You see? Walls don't stay up if you build like that. Let's try again. I'll help you this time. Huh. First, lay out the foundation, where your wall should go. Good! Now let's make the second level. No, no, don't put it right on top. You need to stack in between. That's how you make a strong wall. Okay, I'll come back later. Yeah, yeah. Nice work. Yeah. Why don't you give it a try? Ah. Ah. Looks strong, but you forgot a box. Ah. Ah. Join us next time when we talk about how to make a door. Huh? <laughs> Building a door in a wall <clears throat> is hard. Because how do you make a big gaping hole in your wall without your wall falling over? Well, people have come up with lots of ways to put doors and windows in walls made of stone blocks over the centuries. And you can do this at home with books like I'm doing or with building blocks. Just go up until you're happy with the height and then stack each next layer a little closer to the middle until the final layer touches just like this. And then you take a big heavy book and you drop it right on top. And it's pretty stable. And you've just made a doorway. It works even better if it's part of a wall because you want extra weight on the outside of these books here. So of course, I had to build one that was part of a whole wall. This is the same corbelled arch built out of little building blocks. And as you can see, I went closer and closer together until it meets at the top. And it is very strong. Whoa. Ha-ha! Now, let's max it out! The kind of arch we're building is a corbelled arch. And the Science Max build team and I are using pieces of wood cut to different lengths. How high can it go? We can use my head to... No, okay, wait, wait. It takes a while to get together, but once it's done, it looks just like the kinds of doorways stone buildings had in ancient times. Ta-da! There you go, a maxed out corbelled arch. We went straight up until we got to these layers and they got a little bit closer and closer to the middle until the last piece is one big solid piece. And if we built this right, it should be strong enough to hold me up. Yeah! Science! Well, it held me up for a minute, didn't it? We rolled our pasta and constructed one truss. Now we've made a lot more rolls of pasta and connected them all together to make a second truss and a roadway, as well as the cross braces on top. And when we get it all together, we end up with... Whoa! Pasta bridge! Pasta bridge! <laughs> we did it! We built it. We have no idea how long it will stay up, but it's up 
It's doing its bridge thing for now, anyway. I am very excited because, as far as we know, I'm the only one to try to cross a bridge made out of pasta. What do you guys think? I think I don't want you to be the last person to cross a pasta bridge. You're absolutely right, but I, I'm gonna do it. I think, I think we're ready. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, that doesn't bode well for our pasta bridge. What, what happened here, Kyle? You put all your weight in the middle of the joist. It snapped. Uh-huh. If only there was a way to distribute your weight. Maybe if you crawled? Do like the military style kind of? Oh, right, so that I'm putting my weight on more than one spot. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. You guys stay right there. I, have, I, I, I know okay. what to do. I know okay. what to do. I know what to do. You're coming back, right? Skis distribute your weight over a large area so you don't sink in the snow. That's what skis do, which is perfect for the pasta bridge. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, here Come we go. on. Uh-huh. Uh is it working? Yeah. It's working. I uh, hear some cracking. This might oh, do it. No. Uh-huh. Try to, try to spread your legs apart. Spreading Distribute my legs apart. Distribute your weight. Distributing my weight. It's swaying a lot. Oh, man. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Crossing the cross the bridge. Woo. High fives. There you go. Science Max, experiments at large, pasta bridge, skis. What more could you want? Maybe a pasta chairlift of some sort.